Well, I was editing video this morning and realized um, I've deleted footage, uh, so I couldn't do the video editing. The footage I deleted was talking about the new purchase that I made. So yes, I finally found a truck. I found a 2014 Ram 2500. Uh, this has 35, um, I'm sorry, 39,000 miles on it. So a 2014, 39,000 miles. It's very similar to my 2016 Ram 2500. So single cab, eight foot bed, four by four. This only has the 5.7 uh, five Hemi in it, not the 6.4. It's got the same tires uh, that I just put on my other uh, truck, the Falcon Wild Peak tires, I like that. Uh, already has the running boards, uh, upgraded uh, rims on it. Um, nice, nice rims there. It's got a uh, aftermarket uh, bed cover. My daughter doesn't like the rails here. They'll probably end up coming off. Uh, these are not practical for a farm truck. Hey, it uh, does have uh, the Linex bed liner in here, or it's lined. I don't know if it's Linex. Does not have the hitch uh, for a gooseneck trailer inside. This is the SLT model. So it's it's got a few upgraded features uh, from my 2016. Most notably, it has a center console here. Uh, so just uh, two seats, uh, bucket seats with a center console. It has got the uh, updated screen, or not the up the up graded screen so it has the larger screen on it it does have a backup camera um but the interesting thing about this the backup camera is not in the screen it is actually in the mirror so yeah that's going to take a little getting used to it still has the um the bed camera the bed camera does show up on the screen but the backup camera uh, shows up on the mirror <laughs> ah that scared me that was the tailgate. I didn't fully latch it. Uh, this does not have uh, auxiliary switches, and I'll be talking about that later uh, as I'm putting the plow on. Um, it has a power seat on this side. Already had the WeatherTech floor mats in it. Uh, so, yeah, an, an upgraded version from my white truck. I'm not crazy about the color. Uh, Steel metallic, I believe, or metallic steel. Um, yeah, but when you buy a used vehicle, you get what you get as far as color goes, as far as options go as well. Uh, it does not have uh, tow mirrors on it. So I haven't decided yet um, if I'm going to put a hitch in here or not. Um, you know, I've already got two trucks with a hitch in it. Uh, so we are putting a snow plow on the truck. Uh, so I've got the snow plow here. I've got the the Meyer Lot Pro uh, new plow. I got a, I won't say a deal on it, but it has sat around a while. It's maybe it's a year old, maybe it's a leftover model. So you can see there's some fading here uh, on this side where it's kind of sat out in the sun, but it's still a brand new plow. It's never been used, uh, and you know I got it at a actually a cheaper price than my first liar Meyer lot pro plow that I bought six years ago and I've got a spreader to go on it as well uh, same spreader as what I have on the other truck this is just a few upgrades on this spreader uh, they've upgraded the inside a little bit um, to the, the slope in the front isn't quite as steep uh, they've done some upgrades on the uh, auger part of it uh, with how it feeds uh, down there. Um, otherwise, uh, same spreader. Uh, so I've got to get all of this hooked up uh, onto the truck. Of course, I paid too much for the truck. Uh, this truck here, I bought brand new 2016. Zero miles on it. Uh, so that was six years ago. This truck, 2014. Uh, so this is now eight years old, 39,000 miles. I paid a couple hundred dollars less 
for this truck used, eight years used, than I did the white truck brand new. Yep, uh, that's the way it is though. But this truck is almost showroom quality. Um, it, it's been well taken care of and for being eight years old and only having 39,000 miles on it, uh, so far I haven't found any issues with it. Uh, concerning the plow and the spreader, I actually am $100 cheaper with this plow and the spreader combined than what I bought six years ago. So the same setup, same plow, same spreader, $100 cheaper than six years ago. So yeah, go figure. Basically, I'll have about the same money tied up in this as I will the white truck when it's all said and done. Uh, so yeah, I am pleased uh, with the vehicle. Um, I drove it to uh, Pennsylvania last week to uh, get the snow plow. It handles really nice. Um, I haven't found uh, any issues with it other than a little bit of wind whistling. I haven't quite figured out where that whistling noise is coming from. It's not bad um, until you get about over 60 miles an hour. It could be the, uh, the window vents, um, but I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so yeah, um, now I will uh, oh, yeah, and I did make it to Florida two weeks ago. I drove down to Florida. My wife did not uh, go. She could not get off work. I ended up uh, taking an aunt with me. And uh, so, yeah, we drove down to Florida. We were, we were gone about, what were we gone, six days? No, five days. It was a quick trip, but I got away, got to some sunshine and some warmer weather. So it was a great trip, uh, a great trip to spend with my aunt and uh, catch up on things and... Uh, I, I enjoyed it and I think she enjoyed it as well. Okay, so now the video is going to continue with the uh, installation of the plow. I guess if I uh, did videos more often, I, wouldn't, I would know how to operate the camera and I wouldn't be deleting any footage. I, I, well, I know how the footage got deleted. I hit format disk and it deleted everything. Thought I had already put it on the computer, but I had not. Okay, back to the installation of the plow. Uh, well, I am trying to get the frame uh, for this snow plow mounted on this truck. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of research in the evening concerning auxiliary switches. Uh, I think I said this, but maybe I didn't. Uh, I do not have auxiliary switches in this truck okay all of all of these are blank here uh, but I can get the panel to go in here with the auxiliary switches that part is not an issue I found the part number to order from RAM to replace this it'll still have these buttons on the top but then the five auxiliary switches on the bottom that's the easy part the part I'm not I haven't quite figured out is the power distribution box that goes up here where you can hook all of your auxiliaries to. So if we walk out here to uh, this uh, truck here, so here is the power uh, distribution box here. Uh, this is where you hook up um, the wires for the auxiliary switches. There's actually eight plugs here, but there's only five auxiliary switches, so I'm not sure what the other three are used for. It appears that I can order this assembly from RAM. This box here, this, this box is just mounted on, on this bracket here. Uh, so I can order this box comes with with these plugs here all wired up the question that I have that I'm not quite sure is does this box when I order it include the wiring harness that goes all the way through the firewall and connects to the back of those auxiliary switches that's what I haven't figured out yet okay I have printed the parts list out here so number three shows a kit, auxiliary power distribution center. 
so if if you look at the picture you know it it shows the the two places here for the wiring the box here this is the cable that goes up uh, to the positive battery terminal and this this part I'm assuming goes all the way back through the firewall to the switches but that's what is not clear on any of this and I'm not sure if the dealer uh, if my RAM dealer can answer those questions uh, but as far as as far as the switch plate, this is the one I need because I have the traction control, the tow haul, and the parking sense. Those are the three buttons I have. So that would be the part number from what I can see for a 2015 Ram 2500. Um, so I think if, if I remember, this switch plate is about $100 and this power distribution kit number three well there we go 53 dollars uh, so is it is it that simple that's that's what i don't know and that's what i've got to figure out um about that wiring because there are some programming some programming that you can do through the system on the truck to program those switches uh, whether that you want them just an on off or um what's the, what's the other one there's a couple different ways you can program the switches so i'm not sure if i buy this distribution box how that connects into the system so you can program those switches not that i would need to uh so I, i've just got questions and I can't find the answers to them. I guess I could buy, maybe maybe there's some aftermarket distribution boxes um, that would connect right into the auxiliary switches on the panel. I'm trying to keep this as clean of an installation as possible without, you know, junking up the truck inside with drilling holes and doing all this other stuff because I already have to do a little bit of that with mounting a snow plow um, and a uh, salt spreader on here. Uh, but if I can get these auxiliary switches mounted, it'll make the rest of this process easier. Okay, what I am doing here, I've got, I've got to mount a bracket on each side of here, uh, which entails uh, drilling a hole through the frame here. I've got the first hole drilled, I had, I, my bit got dull, I had to go get another bit, so I've got to finish drilling through the other side of the frame. And then this bracket will be mounted up. There's two other bolts you remove up. Uh, you may not be able to see. Hey, I've got a flashlight. All right. Uh, two bolts here. This one and the one above it um, holds the bumper on, so you remove those two bolts put this bracket up and put two bolts back in its place. So those two, uh, then this bracket comes back here. It has got a, a support arm underneath of there so it pushes up against the frame. And then one hole here uh, drilled through to hold that on. Similar on the other side. Uh, so I've got to finish drilling the hole on this side this bracket will be mounted. Then I've got to go to the other side, do the same thing, drill a hole. And then that will mount between the two brackets, mount all of that on, and then you have the connection for the snow plow. And here is this other bracket. So it will sit up there like that. Um, these, no, I have that wrong. Whoa. Uh, these two where the bumper is, remove those bolts, put that in there, and it comes across, and I will have to drill this hole here into the frame uh, for this side.